The Strangest Quest in Starfield is called Operation Starseed, a mission with three different endings and four unique outfits to get, two of which I think are the most classy outfits for your character and Sarah. But let's take a look at this strange quest line and how to get all the stuff and all the possible outcomes as there are three endings. And I should warn you before we do it, the quest is incredibly buggy, so make sure to make a few saves. To start Operation Starseed, you must make your way to Charybdis 3, located within the Charybdis system. This journey requires a spaceship equipped with a grav drive boasting a minimum of 22 light year speed to cover the distance, but once you make your way here, you will land in a region referred to as the Crucible. Your initial encounter on Charybdis 3 will involve two significant characters. The first is Tobias, a robotic assistant, and Ada Lovelace, who provides insight into the challenges faced by the local community. Once you're let into the Crucible, you must then talk with Franklin Roosevelt, a clone of the US President, who advocates for the community's continued presence on the planet to prevent violence from stemming from the past ambitions that they had. There are also two other leaders of the Crucible as well, Queen Aminorinas, who believes the community deserves the opportunity for space exploration, and lastly you'll encounter Genghis Khan, the most militant of leaders who is determined to escape the Crucible at any cost. After you talk with the leaders, you are tasked with finding seven clues at a facility, and you must fly your ship to the other side of the planet, where you will encounter plenty of hostile creatures, including one who will be a high level and can kill you on one hit, even on an easy difficulty. But before you go, you can also do a little side mission here with Wyatt Earp, but doing this will not affect the overall outcome of the quest, so I will let you make your own decisions on that one. Make your way to the facility and then simply follow the quest markers to find all seven clues. And then once you pick them up, you can return to the crucible and share your findings with one of the leaders. It doesn't matter who, again, it won't really affect the outcome of the quest, but once you've done that, you can then speak with Ada. Now it's time to find the beagle. This can be very bugged, so make sure before traveling to it, you make another save. So make your way to the beagle. All you have to do is travel all the way to the end of the ship and you will find the security override and then you must return to the crucible. Now again, you have to make a save here because there is yet another bug. But once you've done that, you have to decide on who you are going to pick as the new leader of the Crucible. If you side with Genghis Khan, you will kill Aminorinas and Roosevelt, and you can loot their outfits as well, which is good. Or if you side with Aminorinas, you can get Genghis Khan's outfit. Who you choose here is only important if you want a specific outfit, and you don't plan to kill everyone in the end anyway. After you choose who to kill, speak to Ada and be prepared because there's a bug here that after talking with her, the entire settlement will turn hostile, which means that the quest will no longer work other than killing everyone. But I'm going to assume that it's not broken for you and then just move on to the next steps. So once you've completed that, you must return to the facility with your code and you can use this to access the data core. Again, there are plenty of hostiles here who will try to kill you, but at the end, you can access the data core and you will be tasked with making one of three decisions to decide the fate of the Crucible and the clones. So your first choice is to reboot and restore current mission parameters, maintains the status quo, and this just leaves the clones locked in the Crucible and it will reward you with 3000 credits. You will have whatever unique outfit you chose and you can return to the Crucible and you can recruit Amelia Earhart as a companion. The second option is to reboot and choose a new super admin, grants control to the leader that you supported during the recent conflict and each person will address their own issues independently or they can escape if you aided Genghis Khan and this choice will be the same rewards except you get 6,000 credits. The third and most drastic option is the one I chose because, like I said, my game was bugged, so I had no option other than to kill everyone, and that is to initiate a full project cleanse, resulting in the termination of all clones, including the potential companion Amelia Earhart. And you get 2,000 credits for this, but you do get extra loot, so you can loot Amelia Earhart's outfit, you can get Queen Aminorinas' outfit, Roosevelt's, and Genghis Khan's. So you'll get four outfits along with your 2,000 credits. So guys, that's it for this one. Starfield's strangest mission, Operation Starseed. How to play it and all endings and possible unique rewards you can get from it. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.